having your travels or business activities limited or stopped because of a stomach illness is not fun. Our jet setter friend AJ Gohill knows all too well. As I entertain all of my golf director friends in the golf business, I was entertaining them five days a week for 25 years and then October hit and I was hit with celiac disease. So no more whining and dining because I didn't know where to go where it was safe. Celiac disease, a long-term autoimmune disease, leads to gluten intolerance. A recent road trip with you to the PGA show in Orlando forced AJ's wife to prepare his meals ahead of time for the entire trip. But AJ is now finding restaurants that he can enjoy. One of them is Salty Brews Cafe in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He found it through his local Facebook page. So I found Salty Brews. I'm talking back and forth on Messenger with the chef, Jason, and I find out his wife is a celiac, just like me, which means we cannot have any gluten. Yeah, my wife is a celiac, so how it came to be was a couple years ago we were vacationing and uh, there was some cross-contamination and it ended up putting her out of uh, commission for about two, three days and you know when you go on vacation you spend a lot of money. So the last thing you want is someone in their hotel room sick because then you know others feel bad about leaving so everybody ends up hanging around. And not enjoying the vacation. So Jason, as the executive chef, teamed up with his restaurant owner Heather Zanfardino to make Salty Brews a place where people with similar stomach diseases could be safe coming to the tourist destination of Myrtle Beach. And, uh, that's something we wanted to uh, try to cut out here at Myrtle Beach. We figured it was a good addition to the beach. Uh, we figured people like to come here, feel safe when they get here. As soon as you sit down, we ask you if there's any allergens or allergies that we need to know about. Um, and from there, we, uh, we go on with it. Amazing. I've come here every week for the last three, three weeks. This is my fourth because of you. And I'm telling you, I love it. Everything on there is good. The, the team here are amazing and the food is amazing. Along with great foodie visuals like this, the trash can nachos. It's a number 10 can and we put all the toppings inside the can along with the tortilla chips and then the queso and we put it in a bowl and then when it gets to the table you lift it up and then the nachos come flying out. Heather ran down the drinks for us as well. Both are perfect for after or before your day at the nearby beach. Okay we had the lavender bubble bath which is lavender syrup. Um, we put a little Prosecco in there and then we put lemonade and also the blue raspberry with a duck on top. So the other one was the mango tango which had the champagne, um, the lemonade and the mango juice. And their sushi is superb as well. Along with AJ, we had the roll named for the cafe. First roll is a tempura crab with smoked salmon, cream cheese, cucumber, avocado, asparagus and topped with spicy tuna. And that's got to be pretty popular. It's kind of light. It's got a nice feel to it. Yes. I imagine it's pretty popular. Yes, it is. And Michael, the sushi chef, came up with a very inventive MK roll. Okay, so MK roll is my signature sushi roll. It's got a crab, salmon, tuna, cream cheese, asparagus, cucumber, with denim topping. So denim topping is a crab, spicy mayo, and scallions. So it's, it's different though because you deep fry it. Yes, yes, and, and the, the batter is also gluten free, so always, you know, it's probably special gluten free uh, tempura batter. Again, notice the gluten free batter, which Salty Brews Cafe is so diligent and informed about when it comes to the food prep process. Um, there are certain places that have gluten free items. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, cross contamination is uh, one of the biggest problems. Uh, if you're not educated in the cross-contamination aspect and you're using the same knife or the same gloves, um, depending on the severity of the allergy, it can be really um, not a great thing for the tourists. Now, are you finding that more restaurants are beginning to act like this or is it still very few that can do this? It's very hard to do what they do, like, like, like pretty much guarantee that it's gluten celiac safe no cross-contamination. Uh, cross so you'd recommend anybody coming here? I recommend everybody. I can bring my family here because you know what? They're gonna get the same flavor that they used to with, with the, your traditional wheat and all the other uh, uh, wheat ingredient foods. But for me, it's safe and they won't know the difference. Amazing food. 
AJ would also recommend wherever you're traveling to, find a local Facebook or other social media page that offers suggestions on where to go for gluten-free eats. Undercover Jet Setter Welcome is back. booming. We are looking for partners to attract consumers interested in travel, food, mixology, wine, restaurants, and golf. Your business and expertise will be profiled on our shows and online segments that will provide you with valuable marketing tools which you can use on your sites. And your business will also gain exposure to our Undercover Jet Setter global reach of over 120 million across all of our platforms. Drop us a line here and let's partner up together.